Okay, so today we're doing arms. We're on our way to the muscle factory. We're gonna see Graydon, my coach. And we're also going to Ikea to pick up some very, very exciting items, two of which are mirrors. Now we're gonna be making a posing room at home. And I thought I'd show you guys how I'm doing it because there's not much stuff out there. You know, I tried to do my own research and find out whether there was anything out there that, you know, was specific about angles and you know, what size to use, how to set up, etc., etc. But there wasn't really anything there. So I thought, why not fill that gap? Give people a helping hand if they want to do something like that at home. So afterwards, after my session, we're going to be picking up those mirrors from Ikea. Pretty much because there are no close Ikeas near my place. And we're out that way. So, yeah, we'll get that while we're out there. Now a little overview on how I've been going over the past couple of weeks. Training's been superb. Sleep has been superb as well. I haven't felt tired a single day. Eating has been pretty much on point. I would say about 90% on diet. And I'm just feeling amazing. Training's going well. This is the most consistent I've been just without you know, interferences, getting sick, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> For as I, I can't remember the last time I was like this. So I'm just very grateful that I've been this healthy for this long and be able to like, you know, make some serious gains in the gym. And yeah, every, my body's just in a state of equilibrium. It feels, feels great, it feels amazing. And it's what happens when you, you know, stick to it, you stick to getting up early in the morning. I'm just finishing off this elixir, magic elixir juice. Made it safely, thanks to the magic unicorn as well. Come on. 
one. Two, three, four, three, four, four, one more. Oh. That's arm workout done. I used to want to talk and give tips and stuff when I work out, and I still do, because you know, it's educational for you guys that watch. You know, you want to learn something, you want to sort of get to where I am a lot quicker, but it does mean I have to jeopardize you know, the quality of my workout and my focus, which is so important. So over the next couple of weeks, you'll probably see these videos will just be hardcore, brutal. Like I won't be talking as much. I'll just be focusing on working out because that's what I'm in the gym to do, and that's my purpose. And that should be something that you guys, you know, take on as well. Because if you're going in there to muck around, you're not gonna, you know, see the improvements that you should be seeing. So now, we're gonna go to Ikea. I'm gonna pick up some mirrors. I'm excited. We're gonna have a posing room at home. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna be able to make some cool content as well at home. This means you've got another place to take photos. You know how it is. This morning I woke up to finish editing this video and all the footage of making the posing room was lost. You know, it just got lost in the space-time continuum, have no idea how it happened. And as frustrated as I was, I couldn't change what happened. So I'm just recording this end bit now to show you the posing room, to show you what I used. And of course I'll have all of the pieces that I bought and used in the description. So if you want to replicate something similar yourself, you can do so. But let's have a look. So we got our main mirror. It's a 1.5 meter by 60 centimeter mirror currently on a temporary stand. We're gonna have it mounted up against the wall. Now this does move out of the world as well. It's just a clothesline. And then once it's moved, I have this whole, whole space all to myself. And then we have the Holy Grail high mounted angled mirror, which is perfect for the back shots, damn boy. And we have this mounted with two hinges up top, bolted into the supports above. And then we have two more hinges on each side with attachment points for a carabiner and then a chain that goes all the way up to another carabiner and then a another hook for it to go into which is attached to the support. Now this only cost me a couple, maybe 150 to $200. So it's very affordable, you know, if you want to do something yourself. It's all just about having the right sort of area in your home or wherever you're making it so that you have the support and uh, the right lighting and stuff as well. So I'm gonna go to the gym. We've got the fitness expo today, which is gonna be crazy. I've never been to one before, but I'll do some posing for tonight. The video will just be up like late tonight, which will be cool. But I'll go to the gym, come back here with a bit of a pump, and then we'll get some cheeky shots. Shoot you down 